Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. Boy oh boy folks, things are evolving very quickly in Washington DC because things do tend to happen very slowly until things tend to happen very quickly. Such is the nature of Washington DC. Welcome to a brand new episode of the DC Comedy Hour everyone. In this episode of the DC Comedy Hour, we are looking at potential bipartisan support for a higher federal minimum wage, believe it or not. Could, could the Democrats and the Republicans come together to push forth a higher federal minimum wage? That's what we are going to jump into in this episode of Ignition Time. Welcome to this channel, everyone. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda. Right here is a little bit of information about me. Check out my introductory video. You'll learn more about my journey, how I was able to achieve the American dream. And I want the honor, the privilege of helping you achieve your American dream. I want you to know that many of our fellow Americans work for years, some cases decades, in some cases generations to try and overcome the cycle of poverty that you see on your screen right now. And once you can overcome the cycle of poverty and break free from the shackles of, of the rigged system that we live in, then you can experience what I call raining money. I know it sounds a little cheesy, but I can tell you that this is possible. The American dream is possible and I want to help you live your American dream. That's why I'm asking you to subscribe to the channel and please enable notifications. You will get important alerts that will teach you about the country, the economy as well as your money. Let's start with a very interesting clip that is probably going to make you smile. In this clip, former NFL star Sean Lynch was chatting with Dr. Anthony Fauci and he was talking about why it's important for the government to essentially meet with, interact with the black community, the brown community and essentially go head on as far as vaccines are concerned. And what Lynch does is he ends up cursing. And at this point you can see Dr. Fauci smile, I guess he's blushing. And then, and then to top it all off, the icing on the cake as far as this video clip is concerned is that Lynch calls Dr. Fauci, Dr. Fauci-Zy. Yep, that's what he does. Let's roll the tape and check out this segment before we get into the news. I think you'll like this. Take a look. So, I mean, if it come down to it and that's what the government wants, then the government has to come and meet the black and the brown community at a level of where they are. And rather than just saying, oh, it's information, go get the, go get the vaccination because it's free, but you're not telling me what I want to know about the vaccination. And then if you choose to, it's in a terminology of which I don't even understand what the f it. So I don't believe your ass even more now because you had the opportunity to come straight up with me and you chose to take the, I'm going to say the lower road because me and you are not on the same. Um, yeah, not well, on Marshawn, the same that's, field. that's yeah. why you and I are talking. Ah, uh, hey man, you, hey, you know what? Hey, you that do. Dr. Fauci was head man. See, I told you that was interesting. Well, let's shift gears. Here's a new headline on your screen from Fox. Mitt Romney, the senator from Utah, the Republican from Utah, is steaming up with Senator Kristen Sinema, the Democrat from Arizona, and they are essentially joining forces to try and raise the federal minimum wage. In fact, Manchin, the one and only Joe Manchin, the conservative senator from West Virginia, wants to raise the federal minimum wage and he proposed $11 an hour. Remember, the Democrats actually led by the independent from Vermont, the one and only Bernie Sanders wanted the federal minimum wage to be at $15 an hour. But unfortunately, that was not going to pass muster as far as the budget reconciliation bill was concerned. Therefore, it ended up on the chopping block during the passage of the American Rescue Plan. Remember, the, the prominent New York Congresswoman, the Democrat, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, wanted the $15 an hour minimum wage. But guess what? That is a battle that the Democrats had to sort of set aside in order to get the broader American Rescue Plan passed. But now, this whole thing is coming back full circle and a Republican and a Democrat are now teaming up to try and raise the federal minimum wage. This is what Senator Mitt Romney told reporters. We're negotiating a minimum wage proposal which we would ultimately take to our group of 20, meaning 10 Republicans, 10 Democratic senators, and see how they react to it and go from there. That is what Mitt Romney recently told reporters. I want our viewers and subscribers to know that Mitt Romney previously introduced legislation called the Higher Wages for American Workers Act, and he proposed that earlier this year 
to hike the minimum wage to $10 an hour by 2025. And this is a change which would be tied to a mandatory e-verify for businesses. And this was designed to prevent employers from hiring undocumented workers. So as long as employers were willing to use the e-verify system, the federal minimum wage would be increased gradually. And so the minimum wage would then be indexed to inflation every two years. And that was a Romney proposal. The Democrats, on the other hand, wanted to go to $15 an hour over a period of several years. But unfortunately, that at the moment is not going anywhere. Now, I do want our viewers and subscribers to know that the federal minimum wage has not been raised in over a decade. The last time the federal minimum wage was raised was back in 2009 when it was raised to $7.25 an hour. So it's been a long time and it's high time that the federal minimum wage was indeed raised. Now, now I do want our viewers and subscribers to know that there are many states, in fact, there are a growing number of states that have voted to have their own wage increases. Now, there are 29 states with wages above the federal minimum wage. You'll see this headline of this article on your screen from the National Conference of State Legislatures. And I want our viewers and subscribers to know that California has a state minimum wage of $14 an hour, which is the highest minimum wage in the nation. In fact, let's show you the web page of the National Conference of State Legislatures and you'll see state minimum wages and it gives you a lot of information about the minimum wage in different states. But let's scroll down this page and we'll actually get to a section where you can see the minimum wage in each state across the country. And as we scroll down, you'll see Alaska, for example, is $10.34. California right now is $14, but it is going to be $15 in our effective January of 2022. Connecticut is right Right now at $13 an hour and Connecticut is going to go up to $14 an hour and then to $15 an hour effective 2023. Let's scroll down this page and see how minimum wage is going to go up in the state of Illinois. You can see that in the state of Illinois, the minimum wage, which is $11 an hour, is going to go up to $12 an hour in 2022, $13 an hour in 2023, $14 an hour in January 24, and $15 an hour in January 25. So as we scroll down, you'll see the different patterns in different states. Some states have decided to implement a gradual increase in state minimum wage, whereas other states are simply keeping the minimum wage either at the federal level, which is $7.25 an hour, or a pre-mandated level by the state with no plans to increase federal minimum wage in the coming years. So that was it everyone. As you can see on the screen, the federal minimum wage is implemented by some states, but not by all states. Some states have decided to mandate a higher federal minimum wage and other states have just decided to essentially do things a little bit differently. If you want the minimum wage to be raised in your state, Talk to your state lawmakers, talk to your congressmen or congresswomen, talk to your local senators and try and put some pressure on them and let them know about the cost of living in your state. Let me know what you think about this discussion about raising state minimum wages and more importantly, mandating it at the federal level, which of course is going to involve a lot of politics, a lot of shenanigans between the Republicans and the Democrats. Thank you so much for watching everyone. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. I want you to know that you are greatly appreciated. Let me know what you thought about the Dr. Fauci clip at the start of this video. It takes a lot of effort to put together these episodes of Ignition Time. All I ask from you is please click the like button, please subscribe, please enable notifications. I would appreciate that. That way you'll get instant updates from us going forward. Also, follow me on Twitter. Right here is my Twitter feed. You'll be able to follow along all the latest news stories with me and you'll be able to get real-time breaking news alerts as soon as they happen. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Please click like, please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.